Story 23. A man had, by his sins, forfeited the divine favor, but the lamp of grace nevertheless so shone upon his path that it guided him into the circle of religious men and by the blessing of his association with dervishes as well as by the example of their righteousness, the depravities of his character are transmuted into virtues and he refrained from lust and passion, but the tongues of the malevolent were lengthened with reference to his character, alleging that it was the same as it had never been and that his abstinence and piety were spurious. By apology and penitence, one may be saved from the wrath of God, but cannot be saved from the tongues of men. He could no longer bear the reviling tongues and complained to the peer of the tart put, you know, the path. The shake wept and said, how wilt thou be able to be sufficiently grateful for this divine favor that thou art better than the people imagine? How art, how long wilt thou say, the malevolent and envious are searching out the defects of my humble self. Sometimes they arise to shed my blood. Sometimes they sit down to curse me. To be good and be in spoken of by the people is better than to be bad and considered good by them. And whether people speak well or you're not, always try to do better than what is known about you. I mean, even if you have great deeds in public, always have something else, right? Look at me, whom the good opinion of our contemporaries deems to be perfect, whereas I am imperfection itself. If I were doing what I speak, I would be of good conduct and a devotee. Verily, I am veiled from the eyes of my, my neighbors, but the law knows my secret and my overt concerns. The door is locked to the access of people that they may not spread out my faults. What profiteth a closed door? The omniscient knows what I conceal or reveal.